welcome back artists to a very special episode of Art Project Hour and also welcome back to school. This week starting on the 14th of June, we will be acknowledging and celebrating Refugee Week, which has the theme of welcome for this year. At Asheville Public School, part of these activities include making a full scale collaborative artwork which includes all the students at the school and it's one of my very favourite projects to be involved with. In the world today, there are currently at least 70.8 million people who have been forced to flee their homes. And at Asheville Public School, we always view this issue with compassion, with empathy, with hope and with optimism as well for the future and for these people. In 2018, we made a full-scale collaborative artwork called Boundless Plains, which included over 500 little ceramic figurines. And in 2019, we all made little tiny safe spaces and houses out of timber for our work titled Home. This year, we are going to be making a piece called Welcome Wish. And this piece is based on the Japanese folklore and legend which says that anybody who folds a thousand paper cranes will be granted a wish. The legend of the power of the thousand paper cranes was made popular by the true story of Sadako Sakasi, who lived in Hiroshima when the atomic bomb was dropped during World War II. This story was later written into a novel by Eleanor Koa called Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes. So I've got actually another video of me reading the story of Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes. And so if you just look at the comments and the description, there's the link there of me reading that story if you'd like to hear it. So every student in the school and some of our teachers too are all going to be contributing to our piece this year called Welcome Wish. And so we are all going to be folding a thousand paper cranes and marking these with words of welcome and peace. So in front of me here, I have um, a little paper crane that I made earlier. So we're actually going to be using newspaper to make our cranes for this project. I just thought it was a nice way of using like a recyclable material that would just be sort of like discarded. And so we're giving this newspaper another life by turning it into a full scale art project. Um, and so this piece here is quite a big square of newspaper that's been cut out. You won't need to worry about cutting anything out. Um, you know, they'll all be cut out and ready and delivered to your classes. So you won't need to worry about, you know, making sure that your, your piece of newspaper is all square because they'll be ready to go. There will be lots of different sizes though. So, you know, there will be smaller pieces, there'll be bigger pieces. If this is a new thing for you if you're making a origami crane for the first time, then make sure that you pick one of the bigger pieces of paper. Um, it makes it a little bit easier um, because when you are working with a small piece of paper, it can get a little bit fiddly. So, you know, big piece if you're new to this, small piece if you're experienced. So there are lots of tutorials already on the internet, on YouTube already. Um, this is just the way that I was taught. So I was taught by a international student, a Japanese girl that we had live at our house when I was a child. So I've known how to fold paper cranes since I was about eight years old. Um, and so this is the way that she taught me. You know, there are other ways of doing it. So if you have your own way or you'd rather follow another tutorial, that's completely up to you as well. What we are just looking for in the end though is this little crane here. All right, so what I do with my paper now is I'm just going to turn it. So rather than it looking like a square in front of me, I'm going to turn it so it's like a diamond with the points at the top and the bottom and the sides, almost like a compass here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this very top point here and I'm going to match it to this point down here on the bottom. And then I'm going to work up from that bottom once I've matched it and then make a nice strong crease along the top there. So now I've got this little triangle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point here where my thumb is and I'm going to match it over here. So I'm just going to get that point, then match, 
then pushing across, making a nice strong crease and fold along there. So now what I've left with is a little tiny triangle. Now this is where it starts getting a little bit more complicated. So you might, it might take a couple of goes to get this right. So just take your time when you're doing this process because you know this, if this is the first time that you're doing it, it will be a little bit tricky. But you know it will get easier as you go along as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reopen that fold. And so I have this piece kind of standing straight up and then I have the piece that's on the desk here. And I'm going to take that point and I'm then going to match it and flatten it all down to this point here at the bottom. And then I'm going to do a nice strong crease along here and then along here. So what you end up being left with is like a little square piece and then a little triangle piece and it all kind of opens up at the bottom there. Then we're going to flip that over. And then following this crease point here, which goes all the way from here to here, we're going to flap this up. So it's like that, so it's like a little sail there. We're going to do that same process again. We're going to take that point and we are going to flatten that down to match with that bottom point down there. Now, because we are using pieces of recycled paper, we are using newspaper, all of these squares are not going to be perfect. They've all been hand cut, so they're not going to be perfect, 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 but you are going to get the effect that you need. They're going to be square enough. So now what we have is, I was always described it to be like a little frog's mouth, so I have the little opening down the bottom here. And there are like uh, two layers. So there's like a layer at the top and then there's another layer underneath there. So working with our top layer, we're going to grab this little corner here and we're going to match it up to this centre fold line here. And then the same again. Get that point across and then match it up to that centre fold and crease line. All right, so that's what you're left with here. So it's like a little kite shape sitting on top of this diamond shape. Now we're just going to carefully flip that over, making sure that your little frog's mouth is still at the bottom there, so the flap's still at the bottom. And then we're going to get this layer, and then same thing again, move it to that middle crease and fold point, and a nice strong fold down and crease down that side, and then same again. Match it up, crease and fold. All right, so now we have this little kite shape here. Now this is something that I like to do to make it a little bit easier for the next step when we have to start opening it all up again. But up the top here we have this kind of little triangle. So I like to kind of fold that down like that. So just folding down that little top triangle and then making a crease and then reopening that. Because we are going to then open up this top layer again. And I'd like to keep where that little crease line was, I just like to be able to just pop a little thumb there just to kind of block that so it doesn't open all the way up to the end. So we're just going to open it up to that crease line there. Now your paper is naturally, because it has these little fold lines on the inside here, it's got these little crease lines. When you open up to this point and you start sort of pushing, it'll naturally want to fold. And so we want to just go with that. Just go really slowly, really gently. Take your time, there's no rush for doing this. And then flatten that all out. So you're left with this big diamond here on this side. Then we're going to turn your paper over. Same thing again, you've got that little flappy triangle. Push that down and crease it to help make your guide crease. And then we're going to open up this part. Put your thumb there to help guide it. And then push that up. Same thing again, it's going to want to naturally fold into those crease lines that are already there. So just very, very slowly, carefully, 
flatten that all out. So now at the bottom, you'll actually have a split, which ends up sort of like resembling two legs almost. So keep working so that your little legs are at the bottom. And so it's gonna be the same thing again. There's going to be a top layer and then there's going to be a bottom layer. So work with your top layer here and we're just going to repeat that process again. And you're going to fold in again to get match this corner to your center fold line. And then you're going to get off your top layer, this corner, match to your centre fold line. Turn it over. So your little legs are still here at the bottom. Then we're going to work on this layer here. Take this corner and match and fold. Make sure you do a nice strong fold. This corner, pull it over and fold that all down. All right, beautiful. Now, this is where it gets a little bit fiddly, so just take your time doing this. So it is going to want to sort of reopen um, naturally. So just try to keep it all together. And you're going to take this very top layer here and you're going to fold it up onto itself. So it's kind of pointing up like that. Then you're going to turn it and the same again, you're going to tuck all those little folds in. You don't want them unfolding. And then fold them and flatten that all down. So just give it a really nice sort of like push down. This is when our beautiful little crane will start coming together very quickly and suddenly. So after all of that folding, it'll all start coming to life. So what we're going to do is we're going to then move up this top layer. And there is like a natural sort of point where it'll stop. So you're just going to move it up to that point there. Push it up and flatten. Turn it over and on that layer again, push it up to that natural little point there and flatten. Now we're going to create the little beak of our crane. And to do this, we are just going to fold down the top little part of that very top flap there. And then we are going to, so just keep, make sure you just kind of keep your little finger there. Just keep that into place. And we're just going to fold that all in on itself now. like that, so it's all kind of tucked in there. So my little beak is just poking out like that, just out the side. Then we're going to, this is where our little crane will come to life. And just very carefully, you're just gonna tug at its wings really, really slowly until the crane's body becomes this little tiny balloon, you have your tail, your beak and your wings. And if you want, you actually just grab a little marker pen or a texture or some pencils and then just write a little message of hope, of welcome, you know, whatever, whatever you want. You could do a little picture to go with yours. So on this one here, I'm just going to do a little heart. And there you go. There is one of our thousand paper cranes. Thank you. Thanks again for joining me for Art Project Hour this week and I'll see you all in your classes at school. Bye.